it going guys? I want to talk about the director's vision and the cinematographer's execution. Basically, what is the relationship between the cinematographer and the director? Especially if you never worked with a director before. In this is my case. So I was asked to be a cinematographer on a short film, just like low to no budget short film. And um, I want to talk about my process working with a director. The cinematographer is the person who is responsible for telling the story visually. And the director, you know, everyone knows who he is. He's the head honcho on set. He makes the executive decisions. And the director does have some say in the visual look. Some things that the cinematographer does. I think if you're first starting out, especially if you just made films by yourself and you haven't worked with other crew members, um, the roles can seem blurred. It's very important to know your role on set, make sure you're not stepping to other boundaries. Fortunately, if you're working on a low budget film, it's not that big of a deal because everyone is putting on multiple hats, multiple roles to help tell the story. I think the best way to avoid all of this is just to make sure you have a good relationship with your director. So get to know them beforehand if you even are just friends, if you're filmmaking friends, before you actually start on an actual project. You want to get to know them, see what they like, what they don't like, and how they operate. Um, it's very important and it helps resolve a lot of issues on set. And also and speed up the process if you know what they like. So during pre-production, your job as a cinematographer is to look at the director's vision for the film and suggest ways to execute it. You should know how to execute that vision. I think beyond the same page as far as the visual look, even production costs, how you're gonna shoot it, um, figuring those things out pre-production is gonna be a lot better than trying to come up with ideas in the production. But the cinematographer does have some say in the visual look, such as cameras, lenses, and lighting. The director shouldn't involve himself too much in that. But the director has some control in cinematography as well, such as the framing, the camera movement. He has a vision of the film. Basically, both your roles need to work together to find the best way of presenting the film. It's going to depend on who you're working for. The director might be a little bit more cinematography based and have more ideas to share with you, um, or they just may be more story driven or actor, actor's director. So on this film, we had discussed some of the shots, but it wasn't clear because I had not actually seen the storyboard from him. So it's very crucial that you get like a visual representation so you're both on the same page. And because of that, I tried to prepare as much as I could on my side. So as we approach the production day and on location, um, there's a few different ideas we had for shots. So I had to adapt to, you know, his vision as well as, you know, there's always changes, especially when you're outdoor with lighting changes. And also we're trying to work up against the same backdrop. So we had to kind of cheat the angles um, of the characters. So basically continuity um, problems, we were just trying to smooth those out so that way it seemed believable. So there were a few issues on this film set, nothing major, unfortunately, um, just stuff I never experienced before and I want to share that with you guys. So there's a few times when we're trying to determine, you know, the field of view, which I think that's both the director's and cinematographer's job to make it look good. I think the cinematographer has more job of fine-tuning um, and also you know being the visual storyteller that's what 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 you're there for um, but when the director says go maybe a bit wider zoom in a bit more um, it kind of feels just a little bit too much in your personal work you know and this is your role um, yeah but they do choose the framing and I think you should respect that too um, you just want to make sure you can get before. I think it's okay if you're trying to say, do you want a wide, medium, close up, and you're trying there to fine tune the frame. Working on lower budget films, you're not going to have as much professional um, guidance. So I think that's important to do get professional, work on professional sets. But anytime you're working on a short film and film sets, um, you're going to be learning something. In this case, 
I was just trying to learn more about the role of the cinematographer and what I need to do and what the director's input is on that. But on lower budget films, you're probably going to be putting on multiple hats, such as the cinematographer, the editor, and also I was doing a little bit of the script, just getting ideas back and forth. Um, yeah, so I do have a little bit more input trying to give suggestions. I think it's always good to give suggestions. You should never be afraid to um, give an idea because it could be a very viable solution. And the director doesn't have all of it figured out and he doesn't see it from your perspective. So you should definitely mention something. But if the director does not take your idea, don't get offended. That's just the way of the film. It's not your film. You're there to help execute it. Now, when you make your own short film and you're directing it, sure, go ahead. You can make the decisions Actually, I find it quite a bit easier um, just having the final say in things. It's just that way you're not trying to convince them otherwise that we need to film it like this. So this is probably why you see a lot of arguments on film sets, probably personal opinions and time and money. Um, but yeah, if you can just be respectful of other people's opinions, I think it'll be a lot smoother of production and you won't have as many issues. So I'm still learning about filmmaking every day with different aspects because there's so much of the filmmaking world. I don't think you can just figure it out just through YouTube videos or just through watching movies. Get out there and make a film. 